My problems weaken my faith and steal my peace, but I trust in the Lord. It is true that we all face difficult moments in which it is very easy to despair and lose peace. Life brings complex situations to all human beings, and sometimes all roads are closed, and we seem to have reached the point where there is no solution. In the time in which we live, we are going through the worst pandemic that our generation has ever experienced. We have an invisible enemy that pursues us. In almost everyone's life, there is a family member or friend who has been affected by the virus. The consequences of this plague are causing job problems, lack of income, accumulation of bills, collective nervousness, stress in the face of current uncertainty, and fear of the future for many people. All this is part of the cross that God sends us, although in some cases the crosses do not come from God, but rather are the product of our bad decisions. However, at present, we are globally confronting the will of God that makes man feel totally small before these gigantic adversities, but this is how we somehow feel humbled before the greatness of God. We must also accept that God has sent us this punishment to purify mankind. We cannot give all the credit to the circumstances. Few stop to think about the justice of God that acts when man departs from the commandments and lives life as an animal. Few look at the offenses that mankind commits defying the power of God and causing his wrath. On a personal level, each one of us is responsible before the divine justice, and we will have a moment of encounter with God to settle accounts. These times are not normal times. This century is characterized by a time of disorder, when human beings have gone out of the moral limits and now demand rights that are totally opposed to the commandments of God. Man desires to express his rebellion against human laws and also against divine laws by contradicting God's commandments, trampling on his law daily, breaking the laws of governments, and practicing injustice. How can we find peace in this environment where we are surrounded by so much crime, so much injustice? So much evil, so much sinfulness. Do we not realize that all those who are doing evil are being influenced by demons? Many people act in their wickedness like demons incarnate. In a certain way, we are living in a hell. We have demons everywhere. But then how can we have peace and tranquility in this heavy environment? There is only one way to have peace. It is through prayer and recollection. It is through our reconciliation with God. It is through a life in which we do not offend God and live a relationship with Him. Then our lives will change. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is the solution to all our problems. It is faith in God. It is life in God, which is a continuous instruction to understand the purpose of our life and to accommodate ourselves to God's plan. For every problem you have, God has the solution. Place it in the hands of Jesus or Mary and confidently wait for God to bring you the solution. Sometimes certain things do not happen as we expect. It is because God has something in his plan that does not agree with what we ask for. But when we ask, we experience the peace of God who is pleased with all who come to him. I recommend you this prayer that is based on the Holy Scriptures. Lord, 
fight all my struggles and win all my battles. We in our house will serve you, Lord. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin, pray for us sinners who have recourse to thee. Deuteronomy 3, verse 22, and Joshua 24, verse 15. May the light of God shine in your soul, and may the peace of the Lord be with you always. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.